How's it going everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back for another video and uh, today we're doing a little something different here on our channel. So I've been doing the single player series. Uh, you know, it, it's been a little sporadic for the past month, but I, uh, you know, thing, things happen and uh, not being motivated to play Minecraft kind of takes a hinder on that. But I also started a new position at my work and that has been draining all of my time uh, that I've been going out a little bit more, having a little bit of fun with some friends and stuff. So I haven't had a whole lot of time for uh, videos currently, um, but I did want to come on this server. It's uh, called Qu Quest Collectors SMP. So basically what uh, this revolves around is quests. And uh, we get quests, I think, I think every week, every other week. Um, so the server just started last night, but I completely forgot about it. I was out with some friends. I came home, slept, looked on Discord, and I saw that everybody had joined the server and made at least their first video. So I'm a little bit behind, but, uh, we are here now and I really hope you guys enjoy the series. We have a lot of fun, uh, or with this group of people, there's a, a lot of fun, familiar faces you guys might see if, uh, you have watched Cornerstone on the main channel but there's also some people like the the two people that we interacted right there with j2d2 and albino quackers uh they they are completely new people i've never never talked to them before so that was a, a fun little interaction with that cactus random cactus farm right there but yeah so basically i need to get a quest we so the server started yesterday so everybody got a quest yesterday um and i'm not entirely sure how to get a quest uh, i don't know if it's this button where chuckles the man the myth the legend who set up the server and got uh everything organized and all that stuff um i think i just pressed this button and we get a quest uh oh oh i need to enable voice chat oh no your first quest you will receive more quests as time goes oh, by here we go you must choose one mailbox to look into and claim no peeking you must stick with your first choice once you complete your quest successfully or failed return to quest house and turn it in and please don't break any blocks in quest house as there is water everywhere and it could be disastrous i don't think the quest givers would be too pleased they may cause you harm or even kill you. Don't forget, <laughs> you only have 15 lives and last man standing wins. So be careful, but not too careful. But other than that, have fun and see you soon. Oh, I'm figuring out all the buttons right now. Okay, so uh, basically Chuckles uh, said right there is that quest house down there. That's where we turn in the quests. Uh, I don't know how to, how to get one. Bathtub time, podcast seating. What? You know what? So I, I I guess people made chair. You know, okay. Uh, there's a podcast going on on the server, uh, and it, it takes place right there. I guess. <laughs> uh, one second. I'm gonna ask around and see how I get my first quest because that's probably something pretty important to to figure out and do. Does it look better with uh glowing? Maybe I I had, I don't uh, I ran I used my glowing and then I did the uh, honeycomb thing. So I didn't know that those were there. I think I'll I'll, I'll try out cyan. See what it looks like with the glowing. Ooh. Ooh. I like nice. that. Nice and bright and blue. <laughs> oh wait, no, I didn't oh, use cyan. I used okay. light blue. I lied. Ooh. Made by time off Drew. So That's return scroll. Long. Does it tell use me what that, the use that to just uh, take yourself back here? So whenever you oh. want to go do your next quest and or and or you finish your quest and want to turn it in at the thing over here. So I have to press this in order to get my first quest. No, no, no. Your quest is in that book you're holding. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Well, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my quest, yeah, or at least see what it is. So, I'll catch you around. Appreciate it. Out. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and read this book. It's made by a special time off Drew. Uh, welcome to Quest Collectors SMP. Here you will face a variety of challenges through different types of quests. 
Some will require you to venture far and wide, others may test your creative mind, and more surprises are yet to be revealed. Main quests will be unveiled every two weeks, allowing you the time between them to complete each one. For the opening week of quest collectors, we're kicking off with a simple starter task. You must give a stack of dark oak logs to three neighbors. Wait, uh, like a stack each or or like one stack split between three neighbors? Hmm. You have until next Friday to accomplish this mission. In the meantime, get to know your fellow players, starting equi start equipping yourself with gear, tools, and food, and familiarize yourself with the new world generation, and locate an area near this lake to call home. Okay. Well, that is pretty awesome. So uh, we did, uh, as we were talking to the albino uh, quackers, uh, so we have this return scroll, which I'm guessing is linked to this waypoint right here. Uh, and so we can use this. And I guess we just right click it uh, in order to get back. But I don't know if it has only a one time use. So I'm not going to I'm not going to right click it just yet. But we will uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, we can just go all the way back up. Uh, luckily, there's ball bubble columns here. I was wondering how we got to the quest house because I felt like we would just drown uh if we if we did that but uh i think everybody is building around this lake we can't really see like super duper far all the way on the other side but uh this lake goes like all the way around it's super freaking cool but um let's see if uh we can find a place to call home maybe that that looks kind of cool over there with those mountains but there's like planes right here it looks like there's kind of a ravine sort of area over here. Um, I should have grabbed another boat. There's a whole bunch of boats over at the starter area right there. Um, wow. I'm sure somebody is already like claiming this area over here. But let's get over here and see what's up. Uh, we're also using the Terralith mod, which basically takes uh, vanilla Minecraft and... It's its own terrain generation mod. Oh, yeah, there's a door right there. Uh, but it takes regular vanilla blocks in Minecraft, and it'll make new terrain and new different types of generation uh, utilizing those blocks. So we'll see what kind of kind of areas we find. But uh, definitely got to get started here. Grab some sugar cane and, you know, do all the basic stuff to punch a tree and everything like that so then we can eventually get uh the dark oak wood that we need um I i'm guessing we need three stacks uh to do a stack a stack each to all of our neighbors so that's definitely going to be an easier quest considering it is dark oak wood and dark oak wood trees are massive and <laughs> you get a lot of wood out of them but at the same time we are just starting so you know next friday that would be uh six days from now uh, today is saturday so uh we gotta kind of go quick here um especially since I, I'm a busy man. I got a lot of stuff I got to do. Uh, this series also will more than likely not be taken over the uh, Let's Play series. Uh, obviously, I might, I'll probably spread out the episodes whenever I do make them. Uh, so then we have a good amount of Quest Collectors SMP, all the interactions with everybody and stuff like that, uh, doing all the quests and everything. And uh, we also have a good variety of our single player content. Uh, that you guys oh so love and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this series as much as that one as well it's still your boy decisive uh just with a few extra people uh to make the videos a bit more fun so we'll uh we'll see what happens should be really interesting getting to know everybody uh on the server who i have not met before uh interact with them get get you are normal <laughs> normal with them i uh, get knowing them more and uh hopefully we can make some really awesome 
videos with them in the in the future on the server but i gotta ask the question of the day how are you guys doing it's been a couple of weeks since i have uh, uploaded a video and i'm i'm very very sorry for that i know i say that quite a bit uh, as of recent it feels like in every single video but uh you know things just things just happen and things things do be doing what they do i guess but uh hopefully you guys are having a good past few weeks it's been a little crazy recently so maybe you guys are also having a crazy time in your life maybe uh school is kicking your butt maybe you know your friends are going out and doing stuff maybe you're watching movies or you know finding a new tv show or something like that to watch i uh, need any of those small things or a lot of fun. Uh, I should probably make a pickaxe. I don't have my glasses on, so it's a, l a little bit harder to see, but we're getting used to it, I think. There we go. We can just make stone pickaxe right out the gate, getting all the achievements right now. Holy. Uh, do I need... I should probably grab this copper. I feel like I might need it for a quest eventually, but we'll uh, see what happens. So I wonder if everybody has the same quest because I didn't look at any of the other books. So I wonder if everybody has the same quest or if everybody has a different quest or if like some people have the same quest, but some people have a different quest than everybody else. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, hopefully Drew actually did do that. That would be awesome. <laughs> Uh, we also have this mini map right here. So if I hold Z, it makes it a big boy. Um, but yeah, we can utilize this and obviously we can see the caves and that sort of stuff around the area. So uh, hopefully that will help us a little bit. Uh, maybe we could use that to our advantage um, in the in the future whenever we go mining. But we'll, uh, we'll see. It's not, not the most accurate mini map and there's like no depth perception for it so uh you know we'll we'll find out i guess but we gotta we gotta find iron we gotta to oh i need to change my key binds actually all right there we go zoomify now works oh yeah all right so there's some coal up there uh there's uh somebody is starting to build a base over there but man this is a freaking cool area though like, I really like how it's, like, pretty flat right here, and then it goes straight into a mountain with a cherry blossom biome on top. I really love cherry blossom biomes. I don't know if you guys know that. Oh, look on the mini-map. Look at that. Uh, there's a village uh, just, like, right up here. Let's see if we can find some stuff. I'm sure somebody already raided it because everybody has gotten a head start because I am uh, very bad at remembering meeting times. Well, this is pretty cool. There's like pod still here and stuff. A little bit of moss. It's almost like a, a mega taiga mixed with a uh, cherry blossom biome. That's really cool. And like a, a little bit of like sparse jungle or whatever, bamboo jungle. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And it, uh, so one of the settings on the server. Oh, my goodness. I don't have any food. You guys look really yummy right now, but I'm not going to kill you for food. I want you for wool little little village down here sir any oh there's a little bit of wheat and stuff somebody didn't replant i forgot i was in a discord call <laughs> one of my friends is server muted and he's been hearing this entire recording ah shoot all right well uh let's see okay i, I need food food no somebody took everything from that chest Please, carrots. Oh, they're all fully grown too. Okay, I. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff, but I'm also gonna like replant like some of it because I'm a good human being who actually cares about other people finding this stuff. And also, we don't really. Maybe I should take one potato just in case. Wow! What? Is that a mangrove swamp? A mangrove swamp with a. A mesa biome and a cherry blossom. What the heck is this world? <laughs> this is crazy generation. Terralith is insane. All right, let's see if... Uh, I should probably make a sword. Don't they have crafting tables in here? 
I don't have to place mine down. Okay. I guess that answers my question. All right, let's make a sword. Oh, and I should probably make an axe. You know, the basics of Minecraft. We're starting things up. I might make this my my temporary home so I can, like, get food together and stuff. Even though the villagers are actually a little bit annoying. But, you know, they're, they're just the nosy neighbors with a really big nose and much neighbor. Okay. So we can get fish from this river. And then we can just smelt it up in a, a furnace. We'll certainly take it. So for this quest, we need to get the dark oak logs. And for that, I need to uh, find a dark oak forest, uh, which we do have access to the world seed uh, and a live map. So we can see the players live on the server, which is pretty freaking cool. Dynamic, dynamic Minecraft maps are awesome. Wow, you guys just bod at the same time. For that, you must perish and become my food. Nom, 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 nom. I actually feel kind of bad because I do want these guys for wool, but we do have more sheep closer to the lake where everybody's going to be building their base. So at the same time, I don't feel that bad. I, I really don't feel that bad. Wow. It feels weird being back in early game Minecraft, like early, early, early game. We still haven't killed the Ender Dragon or, on our single player world. Might get to that at some point, but at the same time, I feel like whenever I complete Minecraft, or well, quote unquote complete Minecraft, uh, whenever I kill the Ender Dragon, I just like, I don't know. I hate it. <laughs> I like, it, it makes me feel like I completed the game without actually like fully completing the game. Like that's, that is supposed to be the end objective of Minecraft. That's why it's called the end, right? But I don't know. I just, I think I'm staying away from it right now just to make sure that I don't get bored of my world too quickly because there's like a whole lot of stuff you can do with the end like you can make an enderman farm you can make a a, a cool wither farm uh or wither rose farm uh, and that sort of stuff all right so we can go ahead and cook up the the fish as well but all right so i think that's actually where i'm going to leave this video at uh we've been going on for a little bit here we've gotten familiar with all the all the stuff how quests work how to get back to the uh the quest air our um what is it called quest house so we got the scroll here for whenever we do need to return but we gotta oh uh oh nope nope this is mine this is my bed my bed my nope nope it's my bed i'm gonna be the one who sleeps why is there so many villagers in this house oh my goodness Okay, but anyways, uh, yeah, so if you guys did enjoy the video, uh, remember to hit that like button down below. I'm, I'm really, really excited for the series. It's going to only be going on for how long? Six months, something like that, four months or whatever. I, I, I can't really remember, but it's not going to be going on for a super duper long time. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to be very, very exciting and action packed and uh, everything like that. I'm just so excited for the series and I really hope you guys are too. Hopefully this this video kind of showcases what this is going to be like. Uh, as I said, we only have, or well, actually, I, I don't know if I was recording at that time. Let me say, this is a partially hardcore series. There, We do only have 15 lives. So, uh, so after you die 15 times, you go into spectator mode. And you have to watch the series unfold after that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but the more quests that you fail, uh, whenever you fail a quest, as we were talking to albino, um, albino quackers <laughs> down in the quest house, uh, whenever you fail a quest, you have to press that you fail the quest and then it sends you to the void and it kills you. So uh, we can't be failing our quest because these lives are pretty valuable. But uh, maybe in future videos we'll find we'll find some interesting ways to to kill ourselves in Minecraft. 
<laughs> but uh, <clears throat> that's for a future video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to hit that like button down below. I really got to get out of this Christmas skin now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Appreciate you all. Goodbye.